I'm gonna be tackling probably one of the biggest frustrations that often comes up with online dating, which is feeling like you're communicating with people, but those communications rarely lead to the dates or the experiences that you want. This is where online dating can get tough because it can feel like you're putting tons of effort into it, but you're just not getting those rewards of the kind of dates that you like. So to begin with, rather than just saying all online dating is bad, let's acknowledge that in all walks of life, whether it's online or offline, we have people that use things for different reasons. And I'm not gonna lie to you, some people are using online dating because they are excited, they really wanna meet someone to date, they're like, yes, let's do this, I would love to meet someone. Other people might be using apps and platforms because they want entertainment, they're a bit bored, or even if they are not consciously using it just for a distraction, sometimes there can be a gap between what people say they want and what their actions then show up as. So for instance, some people might be using an online dating profile, they might genuinely believe that they're on there to meet people. However, actually, whenever it comes to the point of maybe meeting someone, they might feel a little bit too much anxiety around it or too much uncertainty to want to then dedicate their time towards that meetup. That's fine. Um, however, if you are one of those people who are really seriously invested in looking for a relationship and you want to use online dating, First of all, it's good to have a bit of wisdom and a bit of knowledge that, okay, there are those people out there. Sometimes as well, and this isn't very ethical, but does occasionally happen, some, not all, online dating sites may have robot profiles. They could have lots of third-party users. So that means through no fault of the company, another company, maybe with some not-so-ethical goals, might be using um, social media or their online dating platform as a marketing tool. Also, a lot of the time, even if someone isn't very active in an online dating profile, sometimes companies can make it hard for people to completely remove their profile. Because of this, especially for the guys out there, you might be encountering lots of profiles that aren't actually really active. Um, and for the women out there, as well as encountering inactive profiles, of course, just like the guys, you both need to be looking out for people who are equally invested in co-creating this dating experience with you because let's be real here, you're watching this course, you are interested in dating, you've decided this is a goal for you. So now we need to create a process where you're looking out for people who have very similar goals to you. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, sometimes how much effort a person has put into their profile is a good indicator, but not always. Um, you might discover actually that sometimes people haven't put that much of an effort into their dating profile but are still actually really willing to meet. Effort into profile is a good indicator. Whether someone is potentially using a paid as opposed to an unpaid site again could be another okay indicator of how invested they are in the dating process. But the best indicator beyond all is how communicative they are with you and how willing they are to meet you in real life. So I would advise both the men and the women out there to try to move to swapping phone numbers or potentially to meeting if you think you like the person relatively quickly. Now for the guys, the reason for this can be that say you're ch it's so common that I hear that you'll be talking to a woman, it'll seem to be going well, but then suddenly her responses get fewer and fewer. And sometimes it's not actually the direct response of there being a problem in the interaction between the two of you. It could just mean that she's kind of lost her enthusiasm for online dating. She's just not checking the app that much. She's focused on other things in her life. So it's good if someone seems really interested and really chatty and really communicative, I'd advise to observe the law of momentum and strike while the iron is hot in terms of asking for someone's contact number. If you ask for someone's number, there's really only three ways this can go. They can stop responding or say a flat no, in which case I would probably argue that the likelihood of that being someone you were going on a date with would have been really slim. You've probably just saved a bit of time there. They could say yes, oh, fantastic. Or they could say, you know, I'd like to chat to you a bit more. You know, I'd like to get to know you a bit better. So they could give you what I think is a reasonable objection. Now it's good to know that the majority of interactions that are gonna to lead to dates are gonna be, of course, those women that are like, yes, let's chat, that suits me better. One of your standards and one of the ways you should be looking out and filtering for the women that you want to take on those dates are the women who are showing that right now in their lives they are most willing and most open to participate in that. Now, for the women, you might have a similar version of that problem. When you're talking to people online, you might find that you have a guy and he's kind of messaging you 
pretty regularly, but never seems to ask for the date. Or even more baffling, says statements like, oh, we should hang out soon. And you're like, yes, you're great. You never hear anything back. He says, oh, you should hang out soon. You say, oh, Wednesday is good for me. And, he's, and he says, let me check my schedule. I'll get back to you. And you're thinking, hang on a minute. Wasn't I, the, weren't you the one that wanted to go out with me? Now, this is a good time where you can do some filtering. Um, if he is being very unclear about when his availability is, or he seems to be taking ages to get back to you about when he's going to meet you, that could be really indicating that, to put it bluntly, sorry for to be a, a being so open about this, but it could mean that he might have some other options that are going on there and isn't really prioritizing you. Now, we all, men and women alike, need people that prioritize us in order to build those relationships. So if someone is being a little bit vague about their availability to me, or seems to be happy to chat, seems to want to make sure he, they know that you're still engaged with them and they still have your attention, but isn't really crossing over that boundary to making a plan to invest in meeting you in real life, I wouldn't be so keen on that. The same goes for anybody that is responding to you with very short answers, with just emojis, is responding very intermittently, um, will say, you know, things like, oh, maybe we can meet for a quick coffee after work on Friday, I'll let you know. If you're in the I'll let you know category and someone thinks that they're not sure if they have time to give you that 45 minutes, really, I would say that rather than suggesting this is anything of a problem with your levels of attractiveness, I'd probably argue that this person is just communicating through their actions that for whatever reason right now, dating is not a high priority for them. And you actually really need and you actually really deserve people that are entering into this mindset thinking dating is a priority for me. So of course we want to have a bit of balance here. And um, for anybody, I guess this is particularly for women, the flip side of this is of course, if you meet someone there immediately to push, pushing to meet you, pushing to meet you that day, pushing for you to meet them at their house, we don't want people to create an army of people here that are boundary pushers. We still want people that are respectful and are taking that relationship at a decent pace to really get to know one another. However, it's usually in the interest of filtering out people who may not be as invested in you to just filter out people who only respond with emojis, respond very intermittently, seem to ask when you're free but never really follow up to create a plan. When you ask when they would like to meet, they give you a sort of, oh, I'm a bit hectic for the next two weeks, but maybe after that kind of answer. Um, really start to prioritize your time. And rather than taking it personally, just see this other person as signaling to you about what their levels of investment are with the dating process generally. And if you're, you know that right now dating is a high priority for you, that should be your biggest indicator that you really need to start to filter out people who just aren't approaching it with the right mindset.